SG is high on the agenda of many of our retail clients, particularly how their stores, shopping centres, e-commerce and logistics operations can help address the climate emergency by intelligent use of real estate. From new build to retrofit, property has a huge role to play on the road to net zero. We wanted to speak to leading voices from the industry to understand how they are not only becoming more sustainable, but also repurposing property to support thriving local communities through their strategy for place. Over the last few years, property has had to change. It now needs to be eco-friendly, low carbon emissions, and energy efficient. We're seeing more clients looking to us to help reduce their environmental impact, particularly how new leases, including green clauses, can support those ambitions. More and more, I think, businesses need to think about, in the implementation stage, what they're going to do, because these buildings are going to be around for 20, 30, 40 years. So across our portfolio, we are implementing RESV, which is the Real Estate Social Value Index. So we'll be looking at waste management, we'll be looking at all environmental and social impacts that each of the assets has. It's all around technology driving change and digitising the way we work to transform property services. So from a physical store's point of view in our ESG strategy, what we now do within our scope one and two emissions is look at every single store and its outputs and looking to reduce every single one as much as we can. Across our stores and distribution centres and manufacturing sites, we are installing smart building technology, which is smart BMS system, IoT sensors that not only monitor but control heating and cooling assets and lighting to ensure we're being as energy efficient as possible. Given the current energy crisis we're facing, it makes good business sense. Post-COVID, social aspects of property are high on the agenda. This means we're seeing pension funds review their strategies and they're looking to make their shopping centres the hubs of their local communities. Part of creating community infrastructure to support local communities is co-locating a wide variety of goods and services within those locations. We have initiatives that range from mental health support groups, social enterprises, business incubation space, GP services. There's so many projects and initiatives that you can support that both create vibrancy within the town centre and provide a service that the people actually want to have. For the legal profession, we can very easily do something which is very ESG focused, which is pro bono. A way that a retailer could consider doing more within the ESG sphere is corporate social responsibility. They could perhaps consider things like letting their staff volunteer, charity donations, um, having particular days where you can come and use the products and services for free perhaps, getting involved in, in community days, just so that they can still raise their brand but also fulfil any value in relation to ESG.